I'm outside the courthouse in Lethbridge, Alberta, where the first Canadian to be charged under Alberta's Critical Infrastructure Defense Act is facing the judge. What happened to us? That we cannot agree to this Artur Pavlovsky, a Calgary pastor, is on trial for charges of breaching a release order and mischief for inciting people to block public property at the Canada-US border crossing at Coots, Alberta. He is also charged under the Alberta Critical Infrastructure Defense Act. Well, what's he being arrested for? I want to ask your listeners and viewers, what's he being what was he arrested for? Praying for the truckers and telling them, be peaceful in your protest, be peaceful. Is that against the law? Maybe in uh, communist China, North Korea, they're only worse because they put you up in the front of a firing squad if they don't like your opinion being repeated too often. There's nothing wrong with what he was doing. The fact that he was wearing a solidarity um, took, that's what they claimed. He was there to instigate and motivate people, but it's not true. I know him, and uh, as a pastor and a leader and a shepherd of his flock, that's what he's got to do. You know, if he's in, invited to go and support people, and pray for them for the, what we stand for, this is our fundamental rights. No doubt he's got a target on his back, because with Daniel Smith, right? Um, the first thing she could have done in coming to power would have been to gas Kenny's cabinet, right? Didn't do that. Matter of fact, the same guys are in there. So the individual, Mr. Chandro, that had a personal vendetta against Pastor Art and the Pulowskis for feeding the poor, they're after him. They're all original, right? The same cabinet guys are in it. So it's, a, it's Kenny 2.0. It's the same guys. So uh, you're going to sit there and take that again, the same guys that did this to us for the last two years. So that's why that they're after Pastor Art and they're looking to set a precedent. You better stay in line. You better do what we say or we're going to nail you. Uh, we're here to support Pastor Arter because he has his uh, that massive court case. This is his court case, whether he's in if it gets thrown out, that's what we want. But if it doesn't, then he gets uh, 10 and a half years of jail time. And we don't want that. And I don't think they want that either. We, the people, should be talking about these politicians like Pastor Art does. He calls them out because they are horrible. They are dishonest. They are corrupt. Um, it's all about justice right now. And uh, we're up against a lot of corruption right now. And Pastor Arthur has been a, a beacon of light in this, this crazy world right now. And as you can see, I represent the four men that are currently our political prisoners in Alberta. And we've got Tony, Chris, Jerry, and Chris are currently spending, what are we at, 438 days in jail right now against this corruption. So you've got James Sauer, you've got Pastor Arthur, You've got our four man. You've got Logan that's in Fort Saskatchewan. There's many people up against this justice system right now. And we need to come together as citizens of this country and stand for each other. Because if we don't have justice, we're in a lot of trouble. And Pastor Arthur, everybody pray that he gets through this today. Um, he's up against a, a hard one right now. He's a good man, a really good man. Ironically, this week I myself have multiple court hearings in Montreal regarding COVID tickets. I've got five of them. But I had to bring you the story, so I drove two hours from Calgary. And if you value the work I do, please consider donating to my legal fund. And please watch the initial video regarding these tickets and where they stem from. Thank you.